Yeah, let's move on, man. Another big story this week, man. And this is where we need that grown um, game, that game. We need that Lonzo game for this one, man. Got to teach these kids, man. We've talked about this before, but this is a big story this week, this specific story. Uh, Brittany Renner is an Instagram thought. Uh, She's literally boned every other popular rapper and sports player you can think of. Literally, little Uzi Verts to the little pump to the little, every, like she's, and she's proud of this. Uh, She's fine as hell, by the way. She is super fine um but she's been trending this week because she recently got pregnant with 22 year old b-ball player pj washington okay. now here's where the story gets juicy lonzo a few years ago uh, when he was going to university of kentucky she would start showing up to the games and flirting with him etc and many people are now looking back and saying that she was grooming him uh long story short she gets pregnant and literally broke up with him uh, broke up with him within weeks okay and now She's getting two hundred thousand dollars a month. Mm-hmm. One last piece before you give me your p- opinion, because I need you to talk to these kids. What really upsets me about the story, Lonzo, is there is a viral video of Brittany Renner, the same person uh, from a couple of years ago, sitting in her car doing a vlog, saying, "And I quote: If you want to trap a guy, fuck a basketball player. They don't like to use condoms. They're really dumb." Okay. You she said it story. all. She said it all right there, Doc. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, how can I call it? What, how, how can I do this without being too vulgar? Um, I call it ejaculation baby batter. Okay? Mm-hmm. Straight baby batter. Okay? I used to go to the forum when the forum was cracking back in the 80s when Magic had one night a year to do a, do a Midsummer Night's um, uh, show. Mm-hmm. And right there by the tunnel, right there by the tunnel, all the players come out. Mm-hmm. I have never seen so many fine women in little black dresses with no drawers on in all my life. Okay? Wow. I have never seen so many beautiful women in little black dresses with no drawers on, and they will show you their goods as you're coming out the motherfucking tunnel. Wow. Okay? I yeah. seen them! I mm. seen them! I seen them with my own brown eyes. Okay? And you wonder how guys get caught up. Okay? Um, guys, especially in high power positions, got to realize that it's, especially if you're coming up, here's something going to get me in trouble. Mm. If you ain't got a sister that's been down with you for a minute, okay, be careful who you hang out with. Because at one point in time, you're gonna, your, your, your circle is going to change. Mm-hmm. Your circle is going to change. You're going you're gonna to be playing ball in high school. You're going to be dating the, the high school uh, high school sweetheart. And the college is going to call. And then the pros are going to call. When the pros call, everything changed. Okay? And mm-hmm. you start eating better. You start looking at different chicks. You start being around different women. You go to better parties. You go to... And, and shit, pussy... <laughs> It's, that shit's being passed out like cars and back <laughs> blackjack, okay? What you need? Hit me, nigga. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Okay? And because the system is so slanted when it comes to females and getting pregnant, they don't care about a one-night stand. I don't really know her like that. All they know is you make this amount of money. You got her pregnant. She's entitled to child support, which I call a fucking baby pension, Okay? And I'm not saying all child support is baby pension, but she just proved that this happens. Now, if you talk, you say the same thing to some of these feminists, oh, she's she is a anomaly. Bullshit. Strong, powerful woman. Bullshit. Okay, she deserves that. And I, I hear these chicks on the radio all the time, and and I've seen guys. I've, I've heard. I, I listen to talk radio a lot, and I hear guys talking about these kind of chicks on the radio, and a lot of your talk show hosts. Are females, mm. and well, that's she, no, she's rare. No, she's not rare. She's more common than you realize. Okay, mm-hmm. you want to think because you run the circle of educated women that make exactly. their own money. Okay, exactly. And all women run the same way. No, you got some rats out there that will give you all kind of shit to lock you in for freshness and mm-hmm. uh, and, and be good, be treat you like a goddamn king for about nine, ten years. I nigga, I get my, give me my money now. I, I'm out of here. Okay, because the rules are you got a baby, got to give up 10%, 15% of your gross income 
and it's not tax deductible. Okay? Number two, if you get married for 10 years, stay married for 10 years or more, she's entitled to half of your shit. Mm. Okay? She's entitled mm. to half of your shit. That's what Dre is fighting for. Keep, that, keep her from getting half $500 million. And he, she, he given her 300, 30 million a year already. 30, was it 3.6 million right yeah. now? You give him a 300,000 a year, um, at the end of the year, it's going to be $3,600,000. Okay? Mm. That's just her alimony. All his kids is grown. So that, that's the only thing is he ain't, he ain't got to pay child support. But when you, and I, I keep using this brother as a perfect example, Blake Griffin played for the Clippers at one time. Mm-hmm. He got a chick pregnant. She, they pay, made him pay 300 some thousand a month. Plus, she had another baby by another dude, and they pay she get another couple hundred grand for this kid. So, um, the the rules are so cut and dry. You know how you, how she got pregnant? Whether it was, she poked a hole in the condom, it was rape. It was male rape. It ain't no male rape. Bullshit. Okay, you give a nigga enough Hen- you give a nigga enough Hennessy, he might screw anything. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. give a nigga enough Hennessy, he might screw mm-hmm. anything. There's a whole bunch of cats got Hennessy babies out there. Okay, mm-hmm. you got drunk and she's looking real good till you throw it up. Keep mm-hmm. it one hundred. Okay. Yep, yep. Keep it. 100. I'm a victim. I'm a victim okay. of rape. I'm keeping it real. I'm a victim of rape. You I was see. 19, 19, 19, and we're at a party and drinking like a motherfucker, smoking hella weed. All I remember is I passed out on the couch, and all I remember is I wake up, my pants are down, and there's a girl on top of me riding me. And she was not attractive whatsoever, but thankfully she had the sense to put a condom on my penis. But mm. yes, it, men can get violated as well. Is all I'm saying. And see, if you go to court or call the police, this chick raped me. They'll, they'll, they'll laugh at you, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. They'll laugh at you. I tell mm-hmm. cats all the time. I say, man, if your girl gets violent, you be the one to call the police. Man, if I call the police. Police gonna laugh. Let them motherfuckers laugh. Take that goddamn report. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Because whoever called the police first, whoever called the police first, the other one going to jail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you, your girl put hands on you, you walk outside with your hands up as you call the police, got bruises on your face, because a lot of times they do that to get you, to set you off, and a lot of cats can't control themselves, and they re, they, they retaliate. And when you, yeah. once you retaliate, you just got your domestic violence case. And you mm-hmm. just fucked off about a year, a year worth of Saturdays, plus a pile mm-hmm. of money. Every every Saturday is like twenty dollars, twenty or thirty dollars to go to a domestic violence class. You might uh, be on probation. Oh, dude, come on, man, come on. So you have to be, you have to be thinking. You got to almost go on punk mode just to survive in this new era. Mm-hmm. Okay, I had a pot of mine. He said, "Man, my girl jumped on me, and uh, just so happened my neighbors were out. She jumped on me in front of my neighbors." And I put my hands up. I called. The, he called the police. And the police come. She she said it. He hit me. He hit me. He said no. She did. No, he did not, officer. Nice. She hit Good. him. Okay. Good. She hit him, and she ended up getting handcuffed and going to jail. Okay. Good. You know, it's a, a lot of women got some bad tempers. Mm. People act like men only one with bad tempers. Mm-hmm. The system acts nope. like men are the only one with bad. There's a lot of abused niggas out there. <laughs> Be mm-hmm. getting, getting, oh, yeah. getting banked up by their girl. Okay. I had one of my girls hit me one time, man. Hit me in the chest, tried to run. I didn't I didn't put my hands on her, but I almost choked her. I didn't realize I was choking her. <laughs> so I caught her. And I had to let her go. Then she told everybody I hit her, but she didn't tell anybody that she hit me first. Mm. I was going to get crazy. It didn't go nowhere, but I'm just saying that kind of shit happens. Yeah, and ladies, don't think you could put – look, I don't believe in hitting women at whatsoever, but if don't, – don't put your hands on a man because you don't know what that man's been through, and he might just – backhand the dog shit out of you just don't even do it like i don't understand women that put their hands on men and think it's okay it's not okay my oldest son my oldest son who's going to continuation school this chick started liking him and he started liking somebody else and this girl was hitting on him just hitting on him just beating on him just, just you know he was like stop 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 i told him don't hit a girl don't hit a girl she was just you know just just bum brushing him and Nobody said nothing. He got tired. So stop. He pushed it. Woo, 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 woo. Mm-hmm. Man, everything yep. changed for him. Everything yep. changed. And the only thing saved his ass was a teacher knew the situation and had dealt with it before and got him into a better program. But other than that, he would have been done. 
Okay. Mm. So yeah, folks. Um, the the the, the uh, when it comes to certain situations and all that victim situation, all that victim stuff. I know I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but it's a lot of women out there, man, that, that, that understand and play the game so well. You better be, you better be real careful because they know how to stick your ass and get you caught up with a baby and a fucking case. Okay, yeah. a baby and a case. All right. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And you can't come out and see your kid because you got a restraining order. But all you can do now is send a check over there. Man. And you got some other yeah. cat laid up, laid, up, laid up in the house that you helped get or apartment you helped get, but you can't go visit because you didn't put hands on her or you just pushed her. Uh, talk, mm-hmm. talk hard to her, bitch. You got niggas want to play, play tough, bitch, bitch, bitch. No, okay? That's um, verbal abuse, okay? Mm-hmm. That's a case, too. Bitch, I'll beat your me. ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen to me, man. Listen to me, men out there. Your body has valuable, you know, inside your heart's valuable, you know, your liver's value, your kidney, but there is nothing more valuable inside of your body. Listen to me, men, than your sperm. Wherever that sperm goes, you make sure your eyes follow. Do not take the condom from her you bring your own condom and don't have one that's been sitting in your pocket for the past four months and you've been sitting on it every day for the past 98 days get a fresh condom put it on correctly and you take that condom with you when you leave the house when you leave you take that condom with you You zip it up and put it in your pocket and throw it away down the street which i used to do yeah okay or if you had to flush it flush it in the toilet that she don't use if you got two toilets Use the toilet that she don't use that much. Go to another bathroom and throw it away. Because sometimes mm-hmm. they'll put a trap in the toilet and catch it, some bitch. Oh, that shit happens all the time. All come the on, time. Come on. You, you, yeah. you, say this, you say this kind of stuff, and people, oh, they're not women, not just scared of shit. Shit. Man. Come on, man. Come on. This is too. Uh, look, you ain't got to be a ball player to, uh, you ain't got to be a ball player to make somebody's life very comfortable. Okay? Mm-hmm. Understand child support, man. Child support, there's no accountability. Okay, if you if you got, if you paying seven hundred, you got a decent job and paying seven eight hundred dollars a month for child support. She can spend five ninety nine on you and uh, on the baby and a dollar. I mean, uh, five ninety nine on herself and a dollar on the baby. You can't do a goddamn thing. And she'll call you, tell you I need some diapers. You drop her off a check and she tell you I need some goddamn diapers. I gave you six hundred dollars. I went and got my hair did. I went and got my nails did. There's no kind of accountability. Yep. Okay. And it's an 18-year annuity. It's 18 years, baby. 18 years, okay? Mm. Trust me, ask me mm. how I know. And I, and I love all my kids. I, I love all my kids. But I'm just saying, in some situations, some women, okay, use it as a way to make easy money. It's mm-hmm. easy money. You want to get pregnant. You ain't got nobody in their lives. And you, you know, and it's, it's just easy money, man. And so, you know, especially, you can tell if a woman is trying to, to trap your ass, like homegirl, as soon as mm-hmm. she get pregnant, she wants straight to the DA, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, if your girl sit down with you and say, look, you know what, I'm pregnant, I know you, you weren't looking for no baby, just give me $300 a month, $400 a month, and take time with the kids, okay, with the kid. She ain't she didn't try to trap you. She just don't want to have no abortion, okay? I ain't mad about that, and most of my most of my situations have been like that. I've, mm-hmm. never, been, I've never been involved in the system, because most of my baby mamas have always been somewhat Dang. reasonable. Thanks okay. for the same, yeah. They've been somewhat reasonable. Look, baby, I ain't got no thousands of dollars, but I can do this right here, do this right here. And, and you got to be a man and deliver that shit when you're supposed to deliver it. You can't on get it. On motherfucking time, not a day later, on time. You can't get it. Give them to them when you want it, when you, after you buy your Jordans or you, after you get your, no, 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 no. You got to, because them, them babies, they don't have an expiration date. They need something every day. So mm-hmm. if you get a situation, you get a chick that's cool enough not to take you to the DA, and say, you know what? Just give me this right here and spend some time with the kid. Dude, take that deal and become a daddy, okay? Because everybody ain't out to get you, but you can get got. Mm-hmm. Okay? Easily. Yep. Just, th- just think of them having a big brother that she can call that can beat your ass financially anytime she wants to. Ooh. She got a big brother. I- I'll call my big brother the DA, and he'll have you spend- giving me $1,000 a month. You be crying, don't call, don't call your big brother, don't call your big brother. That's, that's what it feel like. Mm-hmm. That's what it feel like. So yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I, I I see these rappers. You know, um, they want They got eight, nine babies, eight, thirty years old. Yeah, dude, you can't spend time with that many people. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep. Ne- the next thing is, when it comes to child support, 
how much time do you spend with the kid? If you're not speak, spending 50% of the time, you should get hit over the head with a child with a big bill. If you spend 50% of the child, 50% of the time, take the child in your custody, y'all, you, you, you can wipe out child support completely. Mm. Okay. If, if, if you rotating every other day, you're taking the kid to school, or you got weekends, whatever, long as you, long as your time comes out to be 50, 50, 50, you can alleviate child support completely. But most cats, oh man, fuck that bitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, they, 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 trust me, they, they call that big brother. You go wish you had a special. You go wish your ass went, went to the park, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you go wish you went to the park. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, pay attention, kids. Pay attention out there. There's that. Before we move on to the next subject, I want to encourage everybody out there to check out this podcast. It's with a, a, a lawyer, and he talks about this stuff. And one of his main topics is how basketball players go broke, and child support is right up there. So pay attention. Kids are expensive, and the courts don't give a damn. 